Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm doing a home-built Tiki Torch stress test. In some previous videos, I've done some different designs for Tiki and tabletop torches for decorative display. I always like to encourage you to try out your designs before you use them in a regular setting, just to make sure it's safe and it works the way you want it to. So today, I'm stressing some of those variables and putting them to the test for both function and safety. I do like to always stress that anytime you're doing some kind of a fire project to be appropriately prepared for safety, and in this case, it would involve having a fire extinguisher that is rated for this kind of use. One of the key parts of this test is the combination of a stronger wind and a longer wick means that I know I'm gonna transfer more heat to the bottle. That is my goal. I wanna see how far it pushes it and whether or not I do have any kind of a failure, including a potential catastrophic failure from overheating. There is a product out there called Perlite, which is often found in lawn and garden sections, and I've used it a lot as an additive for a lot of my fire-related projects. There's a lot of benefits in a lot of different kinds of builds, so I thought I would try it out for giggles in a particular torch scenario like this, but found that it really didn't add much of any benefit at all, so I would not replicate that. For this Tiki Torch test, I've replicated the build design in a previous video using the parts that you see listed here, as well as regular Tiki Torch fuel. Links to those complete tutorials can be found in the description below. I did go ahead and run this burn test for over 30 minutes, and exactly as I expected, the neck of the bottle got really hot. I typically would recommend going ahead and extinguishing it at that point and figuring out another fix. The easiest solution to try to reduce the amount of heat transfer to the bottle is to make your exposed wick shorter. That works really well. I also really want to stress the fact that you want to put safety first whenever you're working with fire. If you're making a torch design, make sure to test everything out really well first, and especially if you're in cold environments, make sure that that glass is not really cold before you light it up because you increase the likelihood of having breakage. Thanks for stopping by Dialed In DIY today and checking out my stressed out burn test. If you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate it if you'd let me know with a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, check out my playlists. Also, please feel free to subscribe while you're here and come on back in the future. There'll be plenty more Dialed In DIY to come.